One of the creepiest videos to ever appear on YouTube is the Plague Doctor video, otherwise known as 11BX1371. While the footage itself is eerie, with its disturbing visuals and an unsettling soundtrack, what pushes this one over the edge in terms of creepiness are the many cryptic clues placed throughout the video, which when solved, lead to some threatening text and imagery. But should these messages be taken seriously, or are they just somebody messing around? Let's take a deeper look into the strange phenomenon to try and uncover the true mystery behind it. We'll start by taking a look at the video itself. The two minute long grainy style clip takes place in what appears to be an abandoned building. It features a figure dressed in a dark hooded cloak and an old fashioned plague doctor's mask. The black and white clip has a constant buzzing static sound while various codes and sequences can be seen. These include the individual holding up a different number of fingers, a light flashing in the palm of his hand, graffiti that appears and disappears, lines of letters and numbers, and various shapes, such as a rotating triangle. Simply put, this video is an internet codebreaker's dream, or perhaps nightmare would be a more accurate description. Despite the Plague Doctor theme seeming more relevant to the recent global situation, the video was actually first uploaded to the internet back in 2015. It appeared anonymously on 4chan's Paranormal Board on May 9th, with the original poster claiming that they had found the DVD containing the footage on a park bench. The following day, the video was uploaded to YouTube by a user named AETBX. The title of the video was a string of binary, which when translated to text says muerte, the Spanish word for death. The video's description, also in binary, translates roughly to, you have one year less. In an interview with The Daily Dot, AETBX said that a girl he didn't know had sent the video to him via email after she had found it on a DVD in a park. Interestingly, a third DVD was also sent to the Swedish tech site GadgetZZ. In an article titled, This Creepy Puzzle Arrived in Our Mail, the website explains how they received a copy of the strange video in a package. Written on their copy was a string of base 64, which when translated to plain text, came out as 11BX1371. This is where the title often given to the video comes from, due to the article being the main reason the clip got so much attention. As with most internet mysteries, once it gained this popularity, everyone put their detective caps on and got to work on cracking the coded messages that appeared in the video. Results started to come in almost immediately. There was so much information to process and secrets to uncover that a database of findings was quickly established on Reddit in response to the GadgetZZ article. One user from Poland was actually able to pinpoint the filming location, which turned out to be an old Polish mental health facility. Images focusing on the graffiti in the video determined that filming must have taken place sometime around 18 months prior to the video's upload. However, the largest discoveries were made by running the audio through a spectrogram, which allowed individuals to take pictures from the audio frequencies contained in the video. These revealed graphic images taken from the internet, movies, and even real-life murder cases, including a victim of the Boston Strangler. Plus, the spectrogram revealed even more codes for people to work out. Further analysis of the audio also revealed quiet voices repeating the phrase, we are the antivirus. Next, a composite image of frames taken from the video revealed the sentence, strike an arrow through the heart of the eagle, while Morse code characters shown were translated into red lips like 10th. On its own, that may seem like nothing but the ramblings of an insane person. However, things became a bit more real and serious when it was discovered that when you combined 20 pairs of two-digit characters from the video, you get the coordinates to the White House. This caused individuals to re-examine the Morse code text, red lips like 10th, and it was found that if you rearrange the letters, you get kill the president. This gave much more meaning to the hidden message, strike an arrow through the heart of the eagle, which is the national animal of the United States. Combining this with other threatening phrases and hints caused some to believe that the video could be an actual threat targeted at the United States. Others were not so convinced and saw it either as an art project or an alternate reality game, but one of the most popular theories was that the video was part of a viral marketing campaign for an up-and-coming movie. At the time, the film Inferno, based on the Dan Brown novel with the same name, was due to be released the following year. The plot of the book is about trying to stop a mad scientist who is attempting to unleash a virus that would kill billions. In the book, the mad scientist makes a video where he's portrayed in a full Plague Doctor outfit and speaks about how he's the cure for overpopulation. This in combination with the We Are The Antivirus line from the 11BX video initially made for a pretty strong connection. However, when more research was done, it didn't really make much sense for a blockbuster film produced in the US to use such graphic marketing tactics. 
In addition, no concrete connection was ever linked to the movie, which released all the way back in 2016. So even if it was a marketing campaign, it was a flawed one. And so, internet investigators soon turned their attention towards who could be behind the dark uploads. The creator of the video was long suspected to be one of two individuals, the author of the Gadgets Easy article or the poster of the video on YouTube, AETBX. However, both individuals denied having anything to do with the creation of the video, resulting in very little progress for the community. But several months later, on September 30th, 2015, the clip was uploaded again to YouTube, but this time by a user named Parker Wright. Titled 11BX1371, the description simply asked, Are you watching? Shortly after that, a Twitter account going by Parker Wright started to gain some popularity by claiming that he was the original creator of the video. By this point, countless individuals had attempted to piggyback on the attention the video received by claiming that they were the creator, but Parker Wright was a little different. He went to great lengths to prove he was the creator by posting potential source files for the geometric puzzles that appear throughout the video, the source code for the blinking light, and pictures of the Plague Doctor mask used. He even said that the mask was custom made and challenged anyone else to replicate it accurately. This evidence was enough to convince some that Wright was the original creator, but a large portion of the community wanted more proof. On his Twitter account, Wright posted about various mysteries and other topics until a couple of months later on December 31st, 2015, he announced that a new video would be uploaded to his channel. Sure enough, the following day, a video titled 11B3-1369 was uploaded to the Parker Wright YouTube channel. The two minute long video featured the same Plague Doctor figure from the first and the same style of footage, but this time introduced us to a new female character. The video matched the style of the first quite well, confirming Wright to be the original video creator. However, the reveal turned out to be a double-edged sword. Shortly after Wright uploaded the video to YouTube, he added a new channel link that led to a Patreon page explaining that he was an artist and that his videos were part of an art project. Wright also explained through interviews that he was the original poster of the video on 4chan and that he left copies of the DVD in a Polish park and train. The community took this information with mixed reaction. Some were disappointed that the videos didn't have a more serious meaning behind them, while others were glad that they had some closure. Regardless, part of the video puzzle's mystique had definitely worn off, causing a decrease in popularity. And so, the mystery of the Plague Doctor was solved. Well, at least part of it. While Wright had disclosed small bits of information, the true message behind his videos had yet to be fully revealed. And so, the community waited patiently for updates. Sadly, they had to wait for three years until another video was released in 2019. The video again depicts the Plague Doctor figure and contains hidden symbols throughout, but despite being uploaded over two years ago now, little has been discovered about the clues it contains. As of now, Wright's Twitter and Patreon appear to have been deleted, and while there's still a small dedicated community surrounding the videos, it seems to be slowly dwindling. If you'd like to help contribute to this mystery, you can head over to r slash 11bx1371 and have a look for yourself. What do you guys make of this whole situation? Do you believe the creator is just making these videos for fun, or is there a deeper, more important message waiting to be uncovered? Either way, there's definitely more than meets the eye with these videos. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video and taking a look into this strange series with me. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing or taking a look at my other videos. If you guys have a topic that you'd like to see covered, please comment it down below or join my Discord and tell me over there. Thanks again and have a good night.